the performance of uranium shares have been split over the last months. So could this be the divide where the strong companies are separated from the weak? Since we last looked in January, some of the uranium companies are either holding or losing ground while others are gaining. And most have reported their quarterlies on the ASX since then. However, the strongest uranium shares have had more recent announcements specific to their companies and their tenements. They've pushed higher and higher based off those announcements. We're looking at the top six uranium companies on the ASX over the last month, and these leaders have gained 150% over the year and 20% for the month. This is Shares in Play, where we're connecting the ASX's top shares and the market themes for better trading. Click subscribe to stay across the market leaders and like the video so we know which themes you want to hear about the most. Now last month, we looked at uranium reserves impact on the market. You can click on that link there to see the update from January. Since then, we've seen Bill Gates on the US 60 Minutes discussing greener options including uranium and more advanced cooling solutions to avoid Chernobyl crisis of 1986, such as the Terra Power reactor not using water to cool down the fuel rods, but liquid sodium. As Gates says, the liquid sodium can absorb a lot more heat and so we don't have any high pressure inside the reactor. In October last year, the Department of Energy in the US awarded TerraPower an $80 million contract to build one of the first advanced nuclear reactors in the US. When we go back to Bill Gates and talking about nuclear power, he says that nuclear power can be done in a way that none of those failures in the past would reoccur because just the physics of how it's built, I admit convincing people of that would be almost as hard as actually building it. But since it may be necessary to avoid climate change, we shouldn't give up. We've also seen the world's largest producer and seller of natural uranium trade at record highs. National Atomic Company Kazakhstan joint stock company is the world's largest, providing over 40% of the global primary uranium supply in 2019 from its operations in Kazakhstan. Now, Kazakhstan uranium is used for the generation of nuclear power around the world. Looking at the news of other listed uranium companies in the world, we see Uranium Energy on the New York Stock Exchange with the ticker UEC. They announced the restart of the Wellfield Development and Resource Delineation Drilling at the company's Burke Hollow in situ recovery, ISR. Now that uranium project is in South Texas. The company said that advancing and expanding Burke Hollow's resources strategically dovetails with the UEC's plan to participate in supplying the US Uranium Reserve, UR, that we looked at last month, as outlined in the Nuclear Fuel Working Group report published by the US Department of Energy. The UR is designed as a 10-year, $1.5 billion program to purchase newly mined US origin uranium, which brings us to the top performing companies on the ASX over the last month. We see at number six is ACB, ACAP Energy just over 5%, PEN Peninsula Energy 6.67%, Berkeley BKY 7%, number three VMY, Vimy Resources just under 10%, Number two is Paladin Energy, PDN is the ticker up 15%. Now the company has been making a few announcements and roadshows and presentations, both with Shaw and partners at the Uranium Conference back on the 4th of February, and also Bell Potter most recently, looking at the Unearthed Natural Resource Conference in 2021, with the key aspects being that the company has a proven 10-year track record of uranium production. They're also fully permitted to resume mining. They've got long-life operation and their significant high-grade global exploration portfolio provides opportunity beyond just their main Langer Heinrich. Now the strong financial position, they've got approximately 31.8 US million in cash reserves and a financial year 2021 expenditure forecast of just 9.5 million US. Then we move over to the top performer, which is Boss Energy. They're up 22% for the month. Now they've been shooting up after an announced progress towards securing finance. The price somewhat stabilized, but the most recent announcement is extending their mine life. The critical aspects of extending their mine life is also through the exploration strategy that has significantly expanded their global jork resource by about 433%. They were initially at 16.5 million pounds and now it's up to 71.67 million pounds. So that movement has happened since they've acquired the Honeymoon Project back in December of 2015. Beyond those current jork resources, their scout drilling results also confirm potential for high-grade mineralisation. Brooks Dam, East Calacru and Jason South each have their own scout drilling that can be contributing or possibly contributing to these jork resources. When extending this out to look over the last 12 months, we can see that these top uranium companies on the ASX have performed exceptionally well over that 12-month period. 
Now, Peninsula Energy is at the lowest for 9%, but quickly moving up, beaten by Boss Energy, BOE, at 82%. Number three is Berkeley Energia, BKY, 132% over that year. Paladin Energy, PDN, 142%. And first place for these six over the last 12 months is ACAP Energy, ACB is a ticker, just shy of 150%. Click subscribe to keep updated with the latest leading companies in thematics and put a like here or tell us in the comments below which uranium companies you're trading and looking for the longest and best prospects in the one, two, five year program.